I'm here with a very vivid different colors than all of the cans. Or no, sorry, just vivid. I've done a review of very vivid from Treehouse, <clears throat> but now I got just vivid. <clears throat> so this is their first packaged beer with like fruit product, but it just has powder in it. It's mango, honeydew, and tangerine powder, which I've never experienced any kind of fruit powder like that. And a uh, blend of juicy modern American hops. Um, it's 8.2. It almost seems like if it's 8.2 and it's American juicy hops, is it haze with fruit powders? They've been releasing these fruited hazes in two packs that are more expensive. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so I don't know. This one is it's only a dollar more than haze for the four pack. Um, but I, I don't know, I'm kind of assuming it's at least a little different. Here we go. I liked very vivid. It's added some fruitiness without adding acidity and making the beer too astringent and bring out the bitterness because essentially it's acidic and bitter can be a little harsh. This is from 517. That is very recently. That's exactly a week ago. So there we are. And it's pretty hazy, not a, uh, I can almost see a little shadow with my finger. You probably can't. But yeah, it's sometimes, this beer is really pale, um, but if it's really, really, really hazy, it'll catch the light and look even paler. So the head looks pretty good too. It, it smells quite a bit like haze. <sighs> Haze's Treehouse is like flagship IPA, in case you don't know. <sighs> I don't know. It's very fruity, but I don't, I don't know if I would think that there's some kind of added fruit thing to this. Because it has the treehouse or yeastiness. Maybe it's a little less than, than haze. It's still in there. But it's like, it doesn't smell acidic. And the head's pretty nice. It's kind of sticking around, staying somewhat thick and rich. But yes, I get tangerine. I, get, I guess I get honeydew. And mango. And just a little bit of that not quite banana, not quite circus peanut, not quite bubblegum sort of thing from the treehouse yeast. And I guess, yeah, there's some, they say dank tropical fruit. That kind of explains it. Sort of like <clears throat> cannabis pineapple when you really inhale. Nice big body, very fruity flavor, tangy in the finish. Yeah, the fruit powders are probably bringing out this sort of like tangy sort of thing. A little bit of a sunny D <clears throat> feel to it, but yeah, even fruitier in the taste. Pretty darn thick and low on the bitterness, very low on the bitterness. Almost too sweet, but just, it's a fruit juice bomb. <clears throat> I feel like it's even, I like it more than a lot of the, uh, the fruit, actual, like, fruit puree or juice IPAs that um, Trios makes, because these always tend to be a little bit harsh. Um, and what most people love about Trios especially is the um, really soft, Feel low astringency, really easy to drink, yet still extremely hoppy. It's thick and juicy. There's a little bit of a hop resin thing sort of drying out my tongue now. Um, but very pleasant to drink. That's one thing I always look for in beers. Is, is it a pleasant drinking experience overall? doesn't have to be easy drinking. <clears throat> Just make it so that you're not ever, there's no, no part of your, your sip or no one sip where it's like, that was not great. 
um, whether it be off flavors or a biting bitterness or a biting carbonation or a chalkiness. So many brewers are happy with making a, a really intense, flavorful, aromatic, hazy IPA and letting there be like all these unpleasantries. This is a really fruity and intense IPA. Trails makes more intense ones for sure, but there's nothing off-putting about it at all. It's very good. This is like a 4.35 beer. 4.4 maybe. Now when I exhale through my nose, there's a little booziness, but it is 8.2. And that's the first time I noticed it. So this is, yeah, this is close to maybe a four and a half. I don't know. It, it's working really well for me right now. Bye-bye.